everybody. Thank you for joining me for Lip Sense at Lunchtime. Today's color, I'm doing them alphabetically, is Bombshell Diamond. Yesterday we did Bombshell. And it's just, it's, it's just as beautiful as Bombshell, but it's infused with diamond flecks or chips. And it just gives it, it, gives it a lustry, beautiful diamond look. Um, I'm excited to try it because I haven't tried it yet either, so... Um, as always, I went in and made sure that my lips are clean and dry and smooth. If you go, if you feel your lips and they feel, um, I'm going to say flaky or rough, you might want to exfoliate first before you go to put it on. So I'm just going to shake up my lip scents for about 15 seconds while I'm talking to you. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. So far mine is, so far so good. And... I'm really excited to try this diamond color because bombshell was really pretty and so I want to see what this is gonna what difference this is gonna make um, and then I'll probably be using diamond gloss with this and I forgot to I have a bag of glosses because there's so many different ones so I'm gonna make sure I get my diamond kiss gloss out too I'll be doing it with glossy gloss first and then diamond kiss gloss after that so I'm just wiping off the excess I'm gonna do my first coat Let's see if I'm able to use I'm trying to use the camera makes it harder, but you just wipe off your any excess. You want light coats. I'm using a different makeup mirror today, so I'm hoping that it's easier for me to see what I'm doing and stay to where you guys can see what I'm doing too. And then you just want to let that dry for a few seconds. If you've never applied lip scents, you do it in coats. That was the first coat, and then I just want to let it dry a few seconds. And then once it's dry, you apply the second coat. In between, you want to try not to put your lips together, because if you do, they will, this molecularly bonds to your lips. And so it will make your lips adhere to uh, each other. And it can just not feel very pleasant. Also, if you've never used lip scents before, I'm doing, I'm about to do my second coat and wiping off excess. If you've never done lip scents before, um, there's also, this one doesn't really feel, I don't feel a tingle, but sometimes there's a slight tingling sens blah, blah, sensation because of the cosmetic grade alcohol that's in it. It's probably drying as I'm talking. Um, and so whenever you put it on, it's almost like the feeling sometimes you would get if you've ever used a lip plumper, uh, any type of plumping gloss or any of that stuff, and you know, I, I think they still make those, but I know I've used my fair share of lip plumping products in the past, and there's like a little tingling sensation, so. But I don't feel one with this, so just saying. So here's my second coat. This one is so sparkly. I don't even know if you can see it as much, but it's like beautiful sparkly. And you just always want to make sure to go in one direction when you're applying. And get inside on your waterline, like in here. Because that's going to be the first... It's hard to talk when you can't put your lips together. That's going to be one of the first places it tries to break down, is on your inside waterline area, because when you're eating and drinking, you produce more saliva than just if you weren't eating or drinking. And so that's why a lot of times if it does start to break down at all, it will be once, um, it's not actually the food or drinking or anything. I'm getting my third coat ready and I'm just wiping off the excess. It's, um, usually saliva production or if you're really bad about licking or chewing on your lips, that's going, what's going to cause it to break down first. Okay, here's my third coat. using my older makeup mirror to do this today and I'm hoping I got enough light to where you can see it really well okay this is the third coat I'm just gonna let it um <laughs> I was about to say cool off just gonna let it dry and then I'll probably line it just a little bit because I always do um 
and then just again just want to make sure it doesn't stick if you ever wind up getting a little bit on your teeth just go ahead and wipe it off real quick and it'll come right off just sharing my tips of wisdom because especially with reds and uh, bright bold colors I've had that happen I'm just kind of going in and wiping off some excess and I'm gonna just kind of even it out a little bit here kind of hard to do when you can't look down, but. It's been kind of fun doing this because I haven't used a lot of these yet. And I just got in those brand new colors the other day too. The new limited edition, uh, the five colors that are like colorful and bold and beautiful. Okay, so that was my three coats and then I just kind of lined it a little bit so that's it without any gloss yet don't put your lips together until you put gloss on so I'm gonna grab my glossy gloss glossy gloss and then once you apply your gloss then you can um, go ahead and talk and whatever and you don't have to worry about your lips kind of sticking to each other I think I like this one even more than just the regular bombshell but I love shimmer and sparkle. So that's not a shocker. So this is it with the just glossy gloss. This is bombshell diamond. Yeah, I think I need my other makeup mirror. It gives, it gives more light, but I still think you can see this pretty well. I just wind up having more shadow on this side and whatever, whenever I don't have my other makeup mirror, but and then here it is with diamond gloss this is diamond kiss gloss I know it's backwards it's always backwards but it looks like this it kind of almost looks like the silver glitter gloss but it's got the diamond chips crushed diamonds whatever you want to say infused in it nothing nothing Okay, I like to do that because it's still, it amazes me as much today as it did, dud, dud, as it did the first time I ever tried it because it's just such an, such an amazing lip product. Again, with this, if you want, you can take it off of the wand if you want to use that first. Sometimes I like to do that so I'm not wasting. I'm just all about trying to conserve just because I don't like to waste so I actually just put that little bit let's see kind of do this to where I can see in my mirror so it just made it even more sparkly and so that's it with diamond gloss diamond kiss gloss and those are actually from our limited edition diamond collection I wanted to see I was actually kind of thinking about doing some other glosses with it, but I think with this particular color and whatnot, um, it's such a like nude that you're probably not going to get a whole lot. I, I went through a couple of different glosses yesterday. I think I did Sand and Orchid with just the regular um, bombshell color, and it looked really pretty. It doesn't. Nothing really changes it up that much, though. I was almost thinking like, I wonder what it would look like with. Because I like to try opal with everything. And so, just because it's just, it's usually the one that will make everything look different. It's probably harder to get the glitter off than it is to get anything else off. Okay, so what the heck. I am going to go ahead and do opal really quick. And let's see. It's cool. I don't want to get too much. Because too much gloss is usually not good either. you got to make sure you... Wow, that just made it look even cool. I mean, it looked cool already, but that... 
opal, I swear. It is the total like magic unicorn gloss because even the light colors, it makes them look fabulous. Okay. Um, if there's any other glosses that you would like to see tried out, sorry, it's bothering me. Just let me know. Um, I have all of them. I was almost going to see, <clears throat> I didn't do Bougainvillea yesterday. Sorry. <clears throat> Got Senor Froggy in my throat. <clears throat> okay, that's better. Um, I hate to wipe this off. I'm actually thinking I'm going to wear opal the rest of the day. But just for the heck of it, because this is almost more of a red color. And this one is Bougainvillea. Let's see if you can see it. I need my other mirror with my light. But anyways, it's like this is more of almost a red as opposed to yesterday I showed you Orchid. It's like a purpley color. And so that's like purpley pink. And then there's like Bougainvillea that's red. So I thought, why not? I'll show you that one today. I gotta try to remember which side I wipe sparkles on so that I don't wind up with sparkles all over my face, although that's never a bad thing. I always like to mix them up, even though these always pretty much look pretty mixed up, but so that's Bombshell Diamond with Bogan Value Gloss. It gives it a little bit more of a pinker tone, I guess. Because this is red, and then you got the whole, it's a really light color. So, anyways, it's always fun kind of trying out new things and sharing them with you. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, tomorrow, I think the color is Bravo. And I think it's an even lighter color, which I've never tried either. So, that should be interesting. If I've ever tried it, it's probably been in a combo, like those ugly color combo contests and stuff. Just because it's such a light color. And I hardly ever wear light colors, but I'm really... Probably going to change my mind about that because these bombshell colors are kind of, I'm digging them. Especially the bombshell diamond. And you could even layer bombshell diamond over other colors to make them look sparkletacular. So, it's a win-win situation. Anyways, my lunchtime's almost over. Ooh, yeah. So, I better get going. And I just wanted to say I hope you have a great day. And I hope you're enjoying the videos. And I will hopefully have another video up for you tomorrow. Thanks and have a good day.